mm -hmm. Does yeah. that mean you were clear for throwing catch Yeah, no, no. I just, it was nice that that was the kind of practice it was, so, you know, just happy to be able to go out. But uh, obviously it means you could go again next year, so there's yeah. silver lining to it. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, that's good. That's a good part of it, but, uh, yeah, still a long ways to go. So I was talking to Mike about uh, the challenge, primary about the challenge, and just fitting in with the team when you're, when you're out for a long time, especially when you're on the road and you're not, you're not around. still won't. Something you've dealt with recently. Has having made has having a lot of guys gone through it this year sort of made it any easier? No, I did it. Um, find a group of people, even if it's just to, to shoot text messages back and forth with while you're sitting at home watching stuff. Or not. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just if you're going through that with someone, you're you know you're working to get back with someone. Then um, I think that's that's nice. It's a good thing to go through, but. Um, yeah, I mean that that helps, I guess. Not having to do those skates by yourself or whatever the case is, so you know that, that helps for sure. It's, I mean, it's, it's probably harder. Skating around the on your back. Sorry, that's a trip to Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> I would imagine it's 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 a it's a struggle that what you're doing is you really can't even understand, right? I mean, you get so used to the team dynamic and mm -hmm. not being in the way. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's the way my that's from my. Yeah, no, it's not. Uh, it's tough. I mean, you try to be as part of everything as you can, but the reality is you're usually in before the team and you know doing your stuff before they get there, so everyone can do their routine and um, well, you're not out there playing and, and competing and practicing. So um, yeah, and, and traveling, all that stuff, you don't you miss all that being around the guys and. Um, we love to compete. We love being out there and playing hockey, but. You know, the team part of it is also what makes it so great. And, um, you know, that, that changes a lot when you're hurt. So, this team, they were, what, go back a week or two ago, and they were scoring like five goals a game. Goal Lately, fish. regulation goals have been, have been tough. Mm -hmm. um, from your experience, when you get this this time of the season, right, right in the stretch drive and in the playoffs, those, they call them dirty goals. Is that mm -hmm. something like, like, like Tampa's goal one, one goal last night? Is that something this team kind of needs to... In yeah. Observation that the, this time of year, when teams are tightening up defensively, yeah. is that one way they can kind of break out of that a little bit? Yeah, and I think that's kind of been our, our identity, even when we were scoring all those goals. You know, we were scoring a lot of them because of that. We were driving the net and uh, getting second opportunities, and um, you need to have that consistency throughout the season because you can't just turn a switch on when you get to the playoffs or get to times like this. So that's why you practice those good habits, and I think that's uh, something you're always reminding yourself of, no matter if the puck's going in or not. But I think you probably emphasize that stuff a little more when when they're not going as often and um, you know that's the case here we just got to continue to keep those good habits and you know if you do that you're going to get rewarded in the playoffs those are just off the critical goals right yeah no that's those scoring. are the type you get especially that you know like you said this time of year so um, got to find ways to, to make that happen and um, yeah I, I think that like you said this is uh, this is when they're probably magnified even more is this time of year